Hakai. Hey, what is up, guys? It is me, I'm a Tour Killer, bringing you a video on G Warriors, and we have two new units that are here. And it is Golden Frieza and Android 17 from the Super Series, aka the Tournament of Power. So, we're going to be summoning these two units. All right, we have a decent amount of chips to summon these guys, and we're going to then talk about their uh skills and later also talk about their star attributes on what you receive from them as you level them up so we're gonna go ahead and do the summoning right now we are on the test server just wanted to get this uh already initiated with by saying that but let's go ahead let's see what we get so we got the animation rolling in always nice and crisp as per usual and did we get lucky to get the UR? No, we didn't because we would have already gotten the pop-up. And then number nine. All right, let's start off the bat with who we got. We got Android. We got Golden Frieza. All right, so we started off big with Golden Frieza. Very nice. So let's go ahead and let's see how many times we got this one. So we got one, seven. So on the seventh run, we did get another Golden Frieza. He is a defensive unit. All right, let's hope we got it. Another Golden Frieza. Hey, there we go. All right, the first summon we got up. The first unit we're going to talk about is Golden Frieza, okay? So he is a defensive unit. We're going to look at his talent skill. So activated when there are other warriors tagged with powerful enemy in the team. Attack reduction by 30%, activated when there are other warriors tagged with powerful enemy in the team. When taking damage, restores 30% of max HP immediately and deals 150% damage of defense to all of the unit enemies at once. This damage ignores defense, dodge, block, and can't be can't cause crit. It can be triggered once per turn. That's kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. That's actually a very good tank to have on the team just because, of course, just reading this, it will do damage uh, of 150 percent of the defense so if you could boost this guy completely all the way to um defense it's going to be even doing more damage to the units so let's go ahead over here so all right so when he fights he does 90 percent damage to a single target and when he does his i guess his ability it deals 230 damage to the enemy in a straight line all right perfect now we're going to look at his star level. So we got one star, three star, and five star. All right. So looking at the one star awakening. When being attacked by the warriors tagged with Saiyan, damage taken is decreased by 15%. When there are other warriors tagged with transform and team applies taunt to all enemy warriors tagged with Saiyan for one round after entering battle. That's actually very good because I believe when you are taunted, it could just do the normal attack and not the skill if i'm not mistaken and everyone that's on the team right now that is currently using saiyan such as super saiyan 3 goku and um um who else uh maja vegeta and all those other people that's saiyan so it's definitely going to target him so and he's going to get that nice heal going on and also that damage uh given out rage damage is increased by 20 percent so now we're going to look at the three star strengthening rage damage is increased by 20 percent when releasing rage has a 60 percent chance to cause taunt to the enemy making the enemy attack state releaser with the normal attack for one round when being attacked by the warriors with taunt 150 percent damage of defense once to the warriors that attack it can it can take effect up to three times per round three times per round they're just going to keep taking damage left to right that's amazing and here you get a 15 percent strength boosting at two stars i mean at four stars you just get the hp and the block but that that's amazing that is amazing let me know in the comment section down below if you think this might be the best tank that has been released in the game so far if you have any other other things um any other units that you believe is a better tank let me know 
All right, now let's look at the five star strengthening. When HP is below 50% for the first time, damage reduction 10%, defense 10%. When being attacked by warriors with taunt, decreases the rage of the warriors that attack by one point and can be triggered twice at most per round. Holy guacamole. That's amazing. So if it triggers to Saiyans, am I right? And they hit them and reduce by one point, they're going to not be doing their rage. It's going to definitely take longer to do their rage. That's very impressive. I, I'm a very big fan of Golden Frieza, 110%. I definitely like this unit. Just bump up his defense and, and HP, and you should be set with this guy because that is very, very impressive. Even if you probably increase block or even crit resistance, it, this guy's going to last you for the whole game. All right, now we're going to take a look at the powerful and the most amazing person that won the Tournament of Power, Android 17. All right, so let's look at his talent skill. Activated when there are other units tagged with Z Warrior. All right, easy. You could just look at the tags. Z Warriors, there's plenty of them. Damage bonus by 15%. Damage deduction 15%. Activated when there are other Warriors with Z Warrior in the team. At the end of each round, restores 5% of max HP to itself. Very cool. When HP is below 30%, restores 10% of max HP. Okay. So he's just going to be like almost like a regen type of unit. Um, I mean, he's definitely going to be getting hit easily. So, but once he gets to that 30 range, 10%, that's actually very good. So, um, self-destruction question mark. So he's questioning if he should self-destruct. It's like self-destruction? So, and that does 110% damage to all the units. So this is an AoE attacker right here. Now we're going to look at, like I like we did with Golden Freezer, we're going to look at the one star, three star, and then the five star. So for the one star, when dealing damage to the warriors not tagged with Android, damage dealt is increased by 15%. Mind you, there's not many people that are running an Android team. So this will do 15% guaranteed to the people that aren't using it, which is actually very cool. Activated when there are other warriors tagged with powerful enemy in the team. After entering the battlefield, apply shield to all of our warriors, absorbing 15% damage of max HP for two rounds. So this guy is a very, very nice unit. If you buff up his HP, then you will be set with having the most shield that you can have if you just keep bumping up this guy's uh, HP, which is great. All right, so at three stars, we got damage range. We got rage damage is increased by 20%. After releasing Rage Skill, applies Stealth to itself and can't be selected as a target for one turn. Applies Shield to all our Warriors, absorbing 15% damage of max HP for two turns. Wow. So, this guy is a... We like to call these types of units a, um, a shield buff. In a sense that easily in the first two rounds, that 15% damage of shield when you first start out the game, it's going to disappear. Okay, that's going to disappear. Once that disappears and Mr. Trunks does his rage, it's going to then hide himself with stealth, which is actually very amazing. That means that he's going to be gaining for one free turn HP without losing any. That's amazing. And also, he's going to be applying a 50% damage shield to the units that already lost it. Now, I don't know if there is a stack. If there is a stack, then this, that makes this unit amazingly overpowered. If there's no stack, then the people that did lose it gain that extra shield, which means gains extra survivability, and that's what's important and great. Looking at the 5-star now, let's see if this things, let's see if things get interesting. After releasing Rage Skill, Attack 5%, Defense 5%, Damage Reduction 5%. It can be triggered two times at most in battle. 
when in state of stealth, after the action of other warriors in the team, releases a normal attack to a random enemy. Now that's very interesting to read. So does that mean that you have the ability, does that mean that you have the chance to attack twice in one turn? Let's say you're, you're, you're going first, all right? Let's say you go first, then everyone else on your team attacks, and then you go again. Because what the part that is a little bit confusing to me, I mean, it would probably be better to see in battle, when in state of stealth, after the action of other warriors in the team, releases a normal attack to a random enemy. So that's what I think. And that's actually kind of cool. It would be amazing if it was to a specific target, maybe like with less HP or maybe with the most attack. But to a random enemy, that's fine. Damage being done is best. Um, personally, out of the two, I'm a huge fan of Golden Frieza. But it would actually be kind of cool to put Golden Frieza alongside 17 because they do have the powerful enemy trait um, for the 17 talent buff. And currently there's no outfits for them, but there's also Fate you could check. Um, if you And exactly right here, Fate, Android 17 is the same thing. Because once you bump these guys up to star level, they're also going to gain an additional uh, power and whatnot. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. All right, guys. Peace. Impressive.